In the land of Egypt, the Israelites had been living in slavery for many generations under the rule of the Pharaoh. For many years, the Israelites cried for salvation. God heard their cries and chose a man named Moses to lead them out of Egypt and onto freedom. Moses was born in Egypt during a time when the Pharaoh had ordered all newborn Hebrew boys to be removed. His mother saved him by placing him in a basket in the river, where he was found and raised by the Pharaoh's daughter. One day, while tending his flock, Moses saw a burning bush that would not be consumed by its flames. God spoke to him from the bush and told him to go to Egypt and free the Israelites from slavery. Moses initially resisted, but eventually agreed to the task. Moses went to the Pharaoh and asked him to release the Israelites. Let my people go. No, they are my slaves, and I will not let them go. Then you will face the consequences of your actions. The first plague was water turning to blood. The Nile, which was a source of life for Egypt, became undrinkable. The second plague was frogs. They covered the land and invaded the homes. The third plague was lice. The fourth plague was wild animals. They terrorized and destroyed the crops and homes. The fifth plague was livestock disease. Cattle, sheep, and goats all perished. The sixth plague was boils. People and animals suffered from painful sores. The seventh plague was hail. It destroyed crops and homes. The eighth plague was locusts. They devoured the remaining crops. The ninth plague was darkness. It covered Egypt for three days. Despite all these plagues, the Pharaoh remained stubborn and refused to let the Israelites go. I will not be intimidated by your God or your plagues. Your stubbornness will only bring you more suffering. The tenth and final plague was the death of the firstborn. God told Moses to have the Israelites mark their doorsteps with lamb's blood, and the angel of death would pass over their homes. The Pharaoh's firstborn son perished, as did the firstborn of many Egyptians. What have I done? Release the Israelites at once. The Israelites celebrated their freedom and their deliverance from slavery and began their journey to the promised land. We are free. Thanks to God, we are finally free. The Israelites leave Egypt in a hurry, but not soon after the Egyptians follow, locking the Israelites between their army and the Red Sea. Moses walks into the Red Sea, raises his hands, and calls out to God. God splits the Red Sea, and Moses guides the Israelites through to safety. The Egyptians that follow get consumed by the Red Sea. Moses later receives the Ten Commandments from God on Mount Sinai. Those commandments will guide us on our journey and help us to live at peace with one another. After many years of wandering the desert, the Israelites finally reached the Promised Land. The Israelites arrived at the Promised Land and see it's a land of milk and honey. And so, the story of Passover ends. A tale of slavery, suffering, deliverance, and salvation a story that has been told and retold for thousands of years. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe for more and like this video.